this is the another data type in Python, okay, where it can store heterogeneous data types. Very simple, okay. So we will go with the documentation of this first of all. So this is all the help of the class list, okay. And this is like how the functions are being defined from clear. So I'm sorry, from the append, from clear, the copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop. We'll look on to all the functions, okay. All right. So let's see if we just print the functions of the list. So basically from here, append to sort are the things what you have to learn. Sir, yeah. sir, wo screen dikhne rahe hai Oops, okay. Is it visible now? Yes, sir. All right. This is functions. All oh, these are the functions. I guess uh, some have been sort of yeah, fine. Okay, these are the functions of the list. Okay, and the rest of the directory here. Okay, now very first thing. Let's start like. Let's say we have a list of numbers. Okay. Let it be one, two, three, and to store all these things inside a list, what we do is, <coughs> sorry. We create a square bracket okay <clears throat> so here one two three four five something like this okay now let's say if I want to add some numbers to this more numbers or something different like uh, some decimal points to this let's say I want to add 3.0 3.5 should I write it like n plus 3.5 no that will be a type error. Why? Because <coughs> sorry, this can only concatenate list but not the floats. Okay. Yes, sir. <coughs> All right. So list and floats can be concatenated. Sorry, uh, cannot be concatenated here. Why? Because the two data types are different as such in the list, right? So this should be also a list only then it can be added. It's the very first thing it should be understood, right? That is, this should be a list of 3.5, something like this, and this will be added, right? So a list can be there, something like this, 3.5, and this can be added. But what if we look on to NU, there we can see that 3.5 is not there still. Right, it's still not there. So what we can do it there is we can use a function where we can keep that value particularly. Okay. So the very first function what is to be learned there is append. Now append states to add a particular element to last of your list. Okay. How if I write a new dot and uh, the next important thing is mm. so only homogeneous elements can be added that means one single element can be added or you can uh, like singleton element single element only can be added with the use of append so if i write append i need to write here uh, what particular element is that like 3.5 nu is going to return me now a list which will be having 3.5 in the last okay Similarly, the next, if we say the next method for adding up, I'm saying, okay, we want to add something in your list. So there we can use extend. So extend is used to add a, a particular element at the last of the list again, but here the difference would be 
multiple elements can be added. Okay. How? Now, if here I want to add 3.5, uh, 7.6 J, uh, true, false, something like different things. Okay. I want to add all those. So I'll be using extend. Now, now, as such, we are, you know, adding again the multiple elements. So you have to write all those multiple elements in a form of a list. So you'll have to make a square bracket here. And let's say 5J, 7.6, okay. True, false, numbers, whatever, strings. Or let's say. Okay, all these are to be added, let's say. So NU is going to add all of them, but again, the same thing at the last, see. So after 3.5, it's 5G, 7.6, true and hello. Now the same happens. Now you would be understanding like, uh, what is the common thing here is that elements are again uh, added, but the thing is that they are only adding in the last. Okay, they are all getting in the last of them, right? 3.5, then see, similarly, something like here it is, okay? So what we need to do is, uh, like, if we want to add something in between all these values, we are talking about that. Hmm? So if we want to add something in between these, we have to use a function called as insert. So insert add a particular element to a particular position of a list. Okay, that is using index locations. Let's say I want to add something in the starting. So I'll say that in the zero, because as you know, like zero is going to be the start place. The starting place is zero, obviously. Okay. So in the zero, if I want to add, uh, let's say 800, 700, 600, something like, okay. If I want to add something there, what I'll do is zero and 800. I'll run this. NU is going to return me 800 in the first. Okay. Similarly, if in the sixth place, seventh place, you want to add something in new dot insert. Okay, like in the sixth place, I want to insert sixth place. What I'll be writing sixth place. So in new is going to return me. See, sixth. This is the sixth place. Okay, this is how it goes. So additions in a list is, I guess, is clear to everyone. Any doubts there? No, I guess, right? Now removal methods. Okay, let's come back to the section here. Yeah, append is being done, extend is being done. Uh, what was that? Insert is being done. Okay. Now we'll go to uh, index, then count, and yeah, first we'll go this. Index is again, it just finds the, okay, it just locate the output of that particular index position. Let's say here I want to find where is 600, 700, 800, where is 800? It says in the zeroth place. I want to find where is this true. 
it is this it's first position right because true value is one okay and this is acting as the same thing see this and this okay if i'm checking for one you'll get the same result for two also you'll get the same results okay because its value is one now if you want to write true don't write in boolean form okay if i want to find hello And 11 okay like this it works now next this returns to the you can set the number of counts of a particular are there okay if you go with one let's see it says two because there are one true and one one okay it says two now a new uh, dot fns 3.5 so it's also two if I want to count how many zero are there so it says no there is no such zero okay this is how it goes i think it's clear till here okay so next we'll be moving next is copying a list and clearing a list okay let's see let's say we need to copy a particular list okay so this will be like let's say this is a new copy which will be a new dot copy so a new copy is going to be this similar as that okay to a new all right now now this a new if once has been declared see and list is mutable right that means uh, you can change elements here you can you know like do indexing slicing and whatever is what you require okay so let's say if i say this nu copy A new copy second element is what? This is two. Nice. A new copy sixth element is what? This is sixth. I want that sixth should be replaced by fifth plus one. So a new copy now will be see fifth plus one. Getting okay. And what more you can do is you can ranges we have started right how ranges work so we can write here is a new copy now we want to find uh, you know like something in intervals of two so from beginning to end I want to go everything with the intervals of two like uh, remember in the range we used to write like this range of starting to end okay in the interval of something that's exactly it but instead of commas we give columns it says 800 after then 800 then 2 then 4 then 5th right so we'll get it uh, understand how this uh, slicing works let's see so here we'll say that there are a uh, list of numbers list of 500 numbers how it will be there that will be an h or list of 500 l500 
which will be a range of which will be basically a list of range of 500 numbers starting from 1 to or let's say starting from 0 to 500 so 500 only is better okay that's not done okay so if we check the type of this l 500 it says a list okay now what we need to do is we need to print now we don't need to print all the things of a list right we need to get something from the starting like first 25 intervals first 50 intervals okay so what we'll do is we'll write l 500 l 500 first 25 numbers so first 25 numbers are like this obviously okay so we'll print this to get a good iterations something like this first 50 numbers first 50 numbers will be this obviously because you are having things from the 0 to 500 okay so whatever we write will be getting as an output like this that's fine okay now now let's say uh, that in this 500 what we have taken yeah 500 we have taken right so from let's say if we say that from negative 50 to 50 i want so that's a complete blank list okay from negative 50 to negative 10 list so from negative 50 to negative 10 goes like this okay from uh, 450 451 452 and 489 now if i want all the even numbers that will be obviously in the intervals of 2 so l500 even numbers would be l500 L five hundred. Then this from the start to end. Okay. See how it goes. From the start to end. Give a print of everything in the intervals of two. So I'm not writing the start end. But everything is going to be printed in the intervals of two. So L five hundred E. And we'll print this. So what we can see is this is L five hundred E. Okay. Right. And the rest which are excluded, those are your odd numbers. Okay. So in intervals of one, or you can take it. So how you'll find odd numbers? Yeah, anyone? Yes, say guys. Right, so that will be L500. Okay, here in the L500, from where you need to start is you need to start from one not from the zero will it work if we are going to print this just a minute l500 and then you can take it from let's say first 50 i want to print this here let's see if it works zero oh sorry yeah one three five seven nine eleven thirteen is this clear why we are using one here see if we don't give an interval here everything is going to start from zero right so from zero two four six eight and all these we consider as an even number so uh, you can just write it from 2 also that fit from 2 with the intervals of 2 you want so this would be the things but from uh, odd numbers if you want so you have to write this and you have to print this complete oh, so this these are your odd numbers and those are your even numbers is this clear to everyone 
how to separate the things using slicing in the list yes any doubts to anyone there jyoti rajesh no, no, fine no sir okay no sir all right so uh, what rest functions are being left insert okay removals remove reverse sort pop remove reverse sort pop and what clear okay let's say the list what we created as a copy a new copy if you need to reverse this list okay okay from minus 1 means that negatively or you can write it like this so how it works a new copy reverse so i'll write ncr a new copy reverse is going to be a new copy dot reverse so ncr is going to be this i think isn't it safe new copy and okay still is it yeah so this is the reverse now a new copy okay same goes with the sort so that will be arranges things in sending order okay and that will be again a new copy dot sort and sorting would give you better a new copy dot sort a new c o p y uh that's nice so what's the problem not supported oh, okay 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 elements are not supported so in these cases you can import arrays or you can import numpy let's see if you can go here so when sorting does not works we can go with numpy sections okay np and let's say if this is the array in ncr let's say ncr would be np dot an array okay array of what array of any copy okay now if we say nc how we need to sort np dot sort this uh, ncr Uh, let's see what comes. See here, you'll be getting preferences of numbers and all, right? So there are different different elements over there, right? So preferences will be given here. So in array, what happened, guys? In arrays, uh, things are like of a homogeneous kind. Okay. So what the difference you can see here in the array and in the list? What is the major difference? In list, you are we were having different different data types, but as soon as you reach the array all the data types change to a one data type single data type that means if there is any float everything will be there in the float if like precedence i'm talking about precedence higher the precedence the uh, uh, same values would be there for all the elements okay so here higher is the string one okay so everything has been in the unicode sectors like in the strings if let's say it, it was complex then every individual has been converted to complex if it as a number and a float only then everything would be converted in floats okay this is how it is going to work okay now finally if we want to you know we need to clear up the things so you can just say ncr if we need to clear ncr we will write ncr dot clear 
and ncr dot clear oh sorry ncr is not a list so let's make a list this or let's say nu copy so nu copy dot clear now nu copy if you look on so this is a blank list now okay right okay this is how it works now removal methods let's come to nu i want to uh, remove a particular element i'll say nu dot remove let's say i want to remove uh, fifth so i'll write five and you will not be having any five more okay i want to you know remove the last element so last elements automatically gets removed by using pop so it says 3.5 has been removed now if you write any uh, such number so that will be removed if you write pop of uh, sorry this is pop of let's say sixth so if you specify right then the things are going to be deleted like here okay but it says a new str object cannot be interpreted as integer okay so let's say here if you have written even if you write 7.6 that's an integer value you need to write so 7 okay so 7.6 has been removed okay so these are the things you can you can give or you cannot right if you, if you don't want to give you can just leave it as it is okay and you dot pop leave it there 3.5 is being removed because it removes the last element automatically this is how list is going to work okay all the things of a list this is how the same opposite of this is something called a stuffle two major functions okay how now let's see if we print the tuple so you can relate the definition of list with the tuple very simple but the thing is they only have two functions count and index let's say if there is a tuple of uh, let's say of something as like tuple numbers of a list of numbers as we did in the list so that will be considered like this so tn is a tuple of this okay you can check the type of tn and it's a tuple now if i want to have this i want to replace this let's say the first one so i can do it like tn of zero that's one tn of five it's out of range tn of 3 it's 4 okay or if you say tn of something like this in the interval like this these all are better things right tn of negative slicings negative 5 to negative 3 so like this this will be done okay negative 5 to negative 3 okay in, in this manner okay now what if i want to replace something tn of 3 is equal to 5 tn is going to give you an type error that says tuple object cannot support item assignments no assignments no removals okay how you are going to add so you'll be adding a single element if you want you can just like like this give a comma and write this it will be added up not exactly you need to store it again now okay this is how we need to create a single uh, tuple with a single element okay and this is not adding this is like somehow if you want to add something to a tuple how you can add it on okay this is the way okay so all these other things what should be kept in mind while you know solving problems with the list and the tuples and this is how it goes so remember in the strings when you uh, convert something you know like uh, split something over there so all those comes in the format of a list Okay, type, uh, or we can say, okay, uh, if we take a small program, separate,
Okay, prime and non prime will require the image of prime. No. Okay, separate the list of even and. Okay, separate the list of positive and negative numbers from a list of 250 numbers. So there is a list of 250 numbers. Now how this will be made? This will be made uh, from the random obviously. So what we'll be doing is import random and we'll make a list of 250 numbers. So L250 would be random dot rand range of any negative uh, 50 to positive uh, positive 60 okay and this is like what is going to be okay and this is to be done let's say l250 is going to be a blank list okay and this is a loop what i'm going to apply that for i in a range of 50 times what we need to do is we need to l250 needs to append every time the value of this and then finally we'll print l250 and it says invalid syntax just a minute Oops. so this is having i guess more negative numbers than the positive okay yeah let's change it Random dot choice from there, let's say right. Random dot random is going to be, yeah. So, random dot random is giving such values. Okay, what we need to do is we need to multiply it with 100 uh, like this. Okay, this could be one way to get the things. Okay, and or else you can, you know, plus minus forty five. You can keep it any particular values to get a list of positive and negative and you can even round it off all the things to a degree one degree zero something like this yeah that's great so l2 is l250 is going to have this right so what we are doing is from random we are just taking some numbers and multiplying it by 100 to remove that float values and then rounding off to the zero places and whatever the value comes minus 45 to get up something change okay like that okay now uh we need to find a list of positive from the l250 and list of negative from the l250 so lp250 list of positives lp250 what how it would be or you can apply a loop first of all this would be a blank one and l negative of 250 will be again a blank one now what we can do is for i in this l250 okay if we can apply conditions that if the l okay if your i is when divided by 2 leaves remainder equal equals to 0 whatever your i comes 
if it is there like this then lp250 will append the values of i or else I guess no zeros are there if it is then we'll have a look okay later onwards but I guess that no zeros will be there okay or else what we need to do is we need to append ln250 oh sorry uh, we need to find positive and negative right why we are searching for two sorry sorry if your i is greater than 1, greater than 0, so let's see what is the length of LP250 and what are the list, uh, length of LN250 and it's 140, 110 and length of L250, it's 250 obviously, yeah. okay. So we'll print first L to LP250 and here we see all the positive numbers and now you need to print LN250 and then you get all the negative numbers. Okay, now you can sort it and work accordingly like that. Okay, this is how it is going to work. Is this topic clear to everyone? List and tuples. Hmm?